Breton Gordon is a chemical ad uh, weapons advisor to several NGOs in Syria and Iraq. And he joins us now from Salisbury in the UK. An incredible <laughs> explosion. Um, first of all, what is ammonium nitrate and why is it so dangerous? Um, ammonium nitrate is usually used as a fertilizer. It puts nitrogen into the soil, which allows uh, photosynthesis, which allows plants to grow. Um, however, it, it is also very volatile. And uh, if there is what we call an accelerant or, or, or a trigger, it can create an exothermic reaction, which is what we saw yesterday. So on, it, on its own, it's fairly benign and is very good as a fertilizer. But it can explode, which is why terror groups like Al-Qaeda, uh, so-called Islamic State and the Taliban, have used ammonium nitrate as explosives uh, frequently in the past. So what happened yesterday for this ammonium nitrate to explode? Well, it, it's, uh, it's too early to speculate, and, and your reporter has already uh, given some ideas. There must have been some sort of trigger. Um, it would appear likely that there, perhaps there were two explosions that uh, you can see on the, um, on the VT. The first explosion caused, we don't know how, but that, that could have well created fire. Um, and fire it can be a trigger with ammonia nitrate, which then creates this massive exothermic explosion, which some people have said looks like a nuclear uh, type of explosion. So that seems at the moment most likely. I suppose you know, at this stage, uh, we should not rule out uh, some sort of terrorism type activity, but it, it does uh, seem unlikely. But this is a, an incredibly large amount of explosives. Uh, I've dealt in Afghanistan with, with a couple of tons of um, ammonium nitrate and, and what we call fertilizer bombs, which have been devastating. But here, nearly 3,000 tonnes. We've seen the devastation. I think, sadly, it also produces very toxic ammonia gas and, uh, and uh, nitrate gas as well. Uh, and I'm very fearful that, that uh, people who have ingested that, breathed it in, will also become casualties. Uh, fortunately, the, the, the gas disappears very, very quickly. Okay. But um, I, I'm sad to say I expect there is still more bad news to come. OK, and, and going back to um, these 2,700 tonnes of ammonium nitrate, how do they stay in a warehouse for six years? Surely somebody knows about this. Surely there is some accountability for this. Well, it, it does seem very strange. I, I understand originally the ammonium nitrate was taken off a ship uh, because it was thought to be too dangerous and, uh, and possibly a sort of you know, a floating bomb. Uh, there are very strict rules around the world on storing ammonium nitrate and other toxic chemicals. And if these are adhered to, then the, the possibility of accident, is, it should be less. But, but we've seen, you know, chemical um, explosions in Bhopal in India uh, back in 1984, which killed, you know, 8,000 people and injured 500,000. We have seen accidents like this in the past. And it's critical that people, you know, follow the rules. These are toxic chemicals. And if they are not treated correctly and with respect, they, they can create issues. And in, with ammonium nitrate being such a volatile uh, chemical, you know, the, the massive explosion that we see. So um, there, there, there are a lot of questions to be asked on, on why it was stored there and whether it was stored properly um, because you know, having having any way of triggering it, any spark or fire nearby, you know, that that is, you know, that just shouldn't happen. It shouldn't happen. And it happened. Hamish de Breton-Gordon, really great to get your analysis on this important subject. We appreciate it.